Go. Here with head coach Paul Simmons. Coach Simmons of Bison's fall 15-14. Just your initial thoughts on today's game. I tell you what, I thought we we uh, had really really high effort, but our execution was was tough. You know, if you're playing a good football team and you give the ball away four times and you don't you know you don't take any away, um, but boy, a lot of a lot of guys played really really hard. We 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 prayed before the game and then I said, God, you know, help us honor you with how we how we do everything, including how we lose and. Um, you know, it's really important to me that all of us do that, 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 we, that we win together, that we lose together, that we um, have a sense of integrity and honor uh, even when we lose. Uh, but a tough day, tough day for our guys. We, we really had a great week. Uh, we, uh, the guys were, were dynamite in practice. They, they care a great deal. So really frustrating loss. When you, uh, you talk a lot about bouncing back from things like this, and that really shows um, you know the character of a man. Just your thoughts on that type of thing as we continue on through the rest of the season. Yeah. Well, you know, um, there's no doubt we 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 don't we don't really want to learn them, but but you learn a lot more from one win than you do from ten wins in a row. I mean, from you know one loss from ten wins in a row. Um, you know how you lose, and what you do next says everything about you. Um, our our culture is is as strong as it's ever been and you know you're going to see that through this loss um, our guys love each other they they care a great deal and you know, a lot of i think a lot of locker rooms right now you'd have guys blaming one another i promise you right now everybody in that locker room is thinking about and asking themselves you know what could i have done different and and, and i'm the same way you know what could i have done different uh, I, I promise you that um, if you were at practice on on tuesday we will look exactly the same way whether we win or whether we lose. And, you know, we're, we got two losses. Um, 2017 was a crazy year, but we went to the playoff with three losses and then we got hot. Um, so we still think we got a lot to play for and uh, we're going to come out swinging, I promise you. Thanks, Coach. Coach, I talked to Cole after the game and he, his tone of voice sounded much like yours, disappointed, but admirable of the other team yeah. and you know he yeah. didn't blame any didn't make excuses at this Sunday. No, Cole, I mean really all of our young men, um, you know, they they do things the right way, they care a great deal. Um, you know, we talk a lot about what you do in the face of adversity, how you handle losing, how you handle what's not going your way and you know, I, they, they all know, you know, guys, uh, I will remember you for where you stand when we struggle. Um, your legacy here will be based on what you do when the chips are down, when it doesn't go your way. That's how I'm going to remember you because that, that's also um, what matters when you're a Christian father one day and you're a Christian husband because it's hard. It's, you know, this is easy. This is really easy compared to you know, being 35 years old and you got a, a child that's sick or you, you got a, you know, a baby that's up all night, like, you know, crying and, you know, you're struggling in your marriage and then it's hard, it's hard. And so um, we're not excited about it, but we're looking forward to and we realize that uh, a lot of good comes through learning how a man deals with, with adversity and, and we're going to handle it the right way, I promise you.